I've got another graphic calculator probability question here, and it's to do with everyone's favourite topic, the normal distribution. So, obviously it says here it's normal distributed. If you want to pause the video, try the question, check your answers by unpausing, and I'll go through the solutions. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through all my pro thought processes and all the working out I do to get seven marks. It's actually quite a lot of work for these seven marks. The scores of a test given to students are normally distributed with a mean of 21. Straight away, there's no standard deviation given here. So I'm just going to write some notes down to what I'll need for this question. The mean is 21, but I don't know the standard deviation, which is sigma squared. 80% of the students have scores less than 23.4. Now I'm going to just draw a diagram. Okay, I really encourage my students all the time to draw a diagram here. And those that don't often find difficulty with these types of questions. So this is my normal distribution diagram. And here in the middle is 21. And let's reread this. 80% of the students have scores less than 23.4. So 23.4 is here because it's got to be bigger than the mean. So 23.7. And 80% um, of them score less than that. So this shaded area here is... 0.8. All that is very, very important to find the standard deviations, to have an understanding about the standard deviations. Because what we need to do is make use of the z values. Now, when I take normal distributions and I standardize them, I have a 0 for the mean and I have a z value here. Now, what is that z value? That z value is something that I get by doing this calculation. z equals x minus mu divided by sigma. Now, if that will look Greek to you, it's because it is Greek. They're Greek letters. The z value refers to this one here. And we're going to work that one out in a minute. The x value is this one here, 23.7. The mu, the Greek letter mu, is the mean, so that's 21. The sigma is the standard deviation that I don't know. So how am I going to get this z value? Well, this comes from the calculator. I go to distribution, and I go to normal, and I've got the area. So I'm going to go into the inverse area. I've got the area to the left. So let's change this to the left. Let's change the area to 0.8. It's all that's information that I've already got. The sigma, well, I don't know the sigma, but if I'm looking for z values, the important thing is, is I'm going to use this. Standardized scores, mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. So this one is 1, and the mean is 0, and I will get the z value, 0.84. So this information, it gives me the Z value, the standardized score. And this is a very, very important part of the course, 0.81416. Now, if you rearrange that and save time with this video, I've already done the answer. But if you do the algebra with this and you rearrange it, you'll find that sigma is 3.21. Now, if you want, pause that, re-look at that. That's a very, very important part of this course. The second part, a student is chosen at random. This student has the same probability of having a score less than 25.4 as having a score greater than 25.4. Find the probability the student has a score greater than 25.4. So what I've actually got now for the second part is that I'm normally distributed 21 and 3. 0.21 squared and I'm looking for a student getting higher than 25.4 so here quick diagram a little bit skew with but it doesn't matter 21 I want the student getting higher is it higher or oh, less than 25.4 so let's ignore that I actually want all this Okay, this one here is what I want. It now becomes straight from my calculator. Go exit out of here, distribution, normal, 
I'm looking for always for the C with normal distribution. I, I don't know any instances where I use that, so just this one. My lower bound is all the way over here, so let's just put that in as a very low number, like minus 1,000. My upper bound is 25.4. My mean is 21. Sorry, but that's standard deviation, first of all, 3.21. And my mean is 21. And this will give me the answer straight away as 0 0.1. Sorry, 915. Okay, that's great. Let's look at B. The student has the same probability of having a score of less than 25.4 as having a score greater than B. So this probability here is the same as being greater than B. So I'm just going to reinforce this with another diagram. Same normal distribution. Ugh, let's make it a bit bit more like a normal distribution. So this is the normal distribution. Here is the 21. Here is B. And this here is the same probability, 0 0.915. Now I don't need to go to my calculator and start working out what this is from my calculator. It's very, very simple. It's symmetrical around 21. So this difference here is 4.4. So this is going to be 21, take away 4.4, and that gives me 16.6. Now, if you're a little bit confused, there's a lot of work there for seven marks, and it is a question of seven, the end of section A, so it is quite a tough question. Really go through this again, and particularly this bit here, and how you work out the Zs and the standardized scores.